Here's a free program that's called Audacity. It works on Mac, PC, and Linux, and it's a free download. And basically, it's a high-powered sound editor. So basically, here's the Dime Tour. If I hit up here, it looks like a tape recorder. Back in the day before they had CD players, uh, I hit the record button. And uh, how are you doing today? One, two, three, four. I hit stop, play. Yeah, record button. And uh, how are you doing today? One, two, three, four. And it records back my audio. Uh, and if I want to do something that's a little bit more musical, if I want to get rid of a track, I can hit this little X here, and it deletes the track. And so if I do a little, I'll do a little song. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Okay, and of course if I play it back. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little And so forth. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to... Da, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna sing some harmony with myself. Now normally when I have a headphones on, I'm just gonna turn the volume down so I can barely hear it, so I won't get what's called bleed through. Da, da, and I'll put it back to normal volume here, and let's see what it sounds like. Da. So if I had a guitar here, you could, I could play guitar along with myself, I could sing, if I could play guitar and then solo on top of it, play trumpet, sky's the limit basically. I have a multi-track recorder. When you first get Audacity, uh, make sure that you, when you set up, and under, under a Mac it's, it's under um, preference, uh, Audacity preferences on PC, it's under file preferences I believe, or edit preferences. Um, so find preferences wherever it's at. And when you first get it, it doesn't have this little thing set here. Say here, play other tracks while recording a new one. So have that click on there, and that way you do multi-track recording. The other thing while we're in here, on the file formats, you have to go download the lame Kodak. And basically you download it. I choose a really high lame uh, conversion for that. And without that, you can still save it as a WAV file or uh, Orgs Vorbis, which I don't think hardly anybody ever uses. But uh, MP3 is probably the one you want to use for compression. And if you use 320, it's it's pretty it's pretty good uh, quality. Of course, that 128 is the, the the one that everybody used to use for a long, long time, period of time. Well, once I got some tracks here, I can do some editing with it. So I can highlight that there under Effects. I can say, all right, let me fade out on this here. I'm gonna fade out on that there. I can fade in. I can do some other effects. I can say, all right, well let's let's do some. Um, Wawa effects, and I can go here and tweak some things here. I can preview it if I wanted to. Actually, I think it may sound better that way. So uh, you can kind of do some things. Of course, I can cut and paste stuff out of the way if I want to. Like, let's say there's something I want to copy. I can go under and say copy and put it where I want it and hit paste. And notice how it, it finds the last part of where it's at. Now, if I go, if I put it right there and paste it, it's going to put it in, in there like that. So it's really a high quality uh, uh, recording piece of software and I record probably all my, almost all my demos on this thing. You can use this thing for, of course, music. Uh, I'm an actor so I also use it to record dialogue so I can actually uh, uh, hear, hear it while, while I'm driving the car or listen to an mp3 player. Uh, if you're a student, you can put your notes on it while you're driving to work or you listen to your mp3 player while you work out, try to learn a foreign language. Sky is a limit. Anything that you can record, it's audio, you can put on here and listen to. So uh, that's a dime tour of Audacity. I will do some more tutorials a little bit later on. I hope you enjoy. Rock and roll. And go to HerbertMinchley.com.